everybody today i am going to solve a very interesting as i say regularly a very interesting puzzle for you okay just concentrate over the board here what you can see a big square with some numbers put on every angle of the square and also in the middle of each side so if this big square is considered or is taken then there are three circles on the first row and just parallel side if we consider there are three small circles only a number is missing in the middle circle which we have to find by our logic okay and also we can see another diagonally placed square inside this big square and also a small circles in the middle of the first square with a number do you know actually it's very easy to find the answer okay when i will draw the logic you will be just astonished to see how easily it can be drawn okay now let's concentrate over my work how could we evaluate the value of question mark suppose consider the first numbers we can see on the top side there are three numbers and if we add these three numbers so what we get 8 plus 2 plus 5 equal to 15 and now consider uh, just the reverse or just the parallel side okay here what we get if we add all the numbers 6 plus question mark plus 7 equal to question mark plus 13 now <clears throat> if we consider the vertical sides of the squares from top left to top right section first of all let's consider the top left side in vertical position okay what we get if we add the three numbers here we get 8 plus 1 plus 6 equal to 15 and just now move sorry in the right hand side okay what we get <coughs> if we add the three numbers we get 5 plus 3 plus 7 equal to sections so if we dissect the big square from the middle we get three numbers put in the middle section one is one another is 11 and the third one is three so if we add these three numbers we get 15 
sorry now 15 is already the result in case of all the addition now automatically we can derive the logic that here we need to add something with 13 to get 15 so it's very easy if we add 2 with 13 what we get 13 plus 2 equal to 15 so we can put 2 in case of the question mark in place of question mark and now if we add the middle numbers vertically we get 2 plus 11 plus 2 <coughs> so 15 11 plus 2 plus 2 equal to 15 so that is the angle we have to think about from any angle you add the numbers you will get the number 15 and if we get this clue easily we can derive the actual number thanks for your presence